this is the six sister theory okay because s p has already done it i don't now here's a real big thing here if you've always heard me refer to a smt divergence s p has already traded down to its respective inefficiency as we're seeing here for nasdaq nasdaq just entered it today what does that mean to me i don't see that as an smt divergence that's bullish see some of you are wrestling with that what's the difference between a uh, six sister and SMT, and how do I not get fooled by SMT when the six sister is being employed? Well, that's experience, number one. Experience is gonna dictate that. But the difference between SMT, which is like, for instance, because the NASDAQ did not go lower like the SMP did, normally, if I was bullish, that would be something I would be interested in going long on. But what is my bias? It's bearish. So I'm willing to submit to the idea that this is a temporary inability for NASDAQ to deliver on the same content text that S&P submitted to earlier. In other words, lower prices are expected. S&P was quick to get to its targets faster. NASDAQ will just do it at a later time. I don't see this as, okay, what's, what's going to go higher? That's S&P bullish divergence. An S&P bullish divergence would be S&P making a lower low, NASDAQ making a higher low, or reverse it. NASDAQ making a lower low and S&P making a higher low. That divergence between relative equal, um, or what would be not equal, but relative highs and lows, they should agree. If S&P if makes a higher high, then NASDAQ should make a higher high. If NASDAQ makes a lower low, S&P should make a lower low. On an interim, short-term intraday basis, I can use that as uh, a confirmation to something I already expect in price. So I use s in that regard as a one more confluence. I don't need s but I like it to be in certain trades. I'm not demanding s to try to call the bottom in the s and in the NASDAQ yet because I'm believing that we still have weeks still calendar wise of lower prices there's absolutely nothing bullish about equities right now and more people are going to be interested in selling short which is why they allow these things to occur in the fall it's it's engineered it's not going down because you are all collectively selling they want you to sell why would the market be engineered to do that because they want to accumulate at lower prices because they run funds they run funds, they manage funds, and they want to get those stock prices lower so they can buy them up at a discount.